you said last night. You said even some of the cops said whether you didn't do it or whether you did do it, you were still definitely framed. Framed, yeah. Yeah, I mean, some of the sheriff's department and a couple of LAPD officers you said that since then that said, and it's an argument that I've made since, since, and I agree with, that I don't care if you think I did it or if you think I didn't do it. you got to admit I was framed. <laughs> and then when did he think of dropping a glove in the back of your because house? Because once they found out I was in Chicago, they, they found still out they could, got in then the they should have left. Then they should have left. But they want to search the house. Right. And that's when he came and brought a final reason to search the house. The glove gave him a reason to search the house. I yeah. wonder when Furman, I mean, if you were going through this in your mind, and I'm sure you've gone through it a thousand times, thought of picking up the other glove, going into your house and dropping it. I mean, that's an unbelievable thing to do. They needed a reason to get in my house. It happens all the time. It's just something that police do. They cover each other's ass. We saw the movie Serpico. It's happened time and time again. Well, they have to it's discuss just, it. It's a complicated thing to carry a glove not, and a hat and a uh, thing. No, you don't have to, you don't have to discuss it. Well, you, you don't know. do it by osmosis. Yes, they do. You ever been around a police? I mean, it's like a football team. Things happen in a football team. We don't have to discuss. Everybody covers for everybody. This is uh, the infamous era, uh, murders right oh, there. That's where Nicole lived? That's where she lived. Does that's that disturb you to see it? You know, it doesn't. You know, I thought it would, and so I don't have a visual. I don't have a visual thing about it. In court, whenever they put pictures up of the bodies, I never looked at a picture. So I've never seen a picture of the bodies in, right. in, in front of that. Even the video thing, my lawyers would say there, and I would kind of look off to the you calendar. Don't or something. But I don't want that image. I don't want to have that, you but know, to live you... the rest of my life with that picture of Nicole dead on the sidewalk, bleeding. It's not it's just not a picture. It's just not a picture but you, you want to carry. you know that the person stabbed her from the back. I know that's, a, that's what the guy said, yeah. And um, I would imagine that if anyone had their throat cut, normally it's from the back, at least from every movie I've ever seen. Right. Never, I guess I saw one thing where the guy had some sort of a machete. Well, you can go like this. this. But well, I, I, from what I gathered, she died from a cut throat, not from a stab wound. Uh, so anyway, but I didn't, um, I, I never saw that picture and didn't want to. Right. But with the first time I had inadvertently, I actually coming back from the restaurant, inadvertently was driving by, and because normally I'd go down that way, and, um, and was surprised that I had really no reaction. And I've even driven by with a film crew. Really? Since then, with a German and there's nothing. film crew, no reaction.